Welcome back to the Espresso Outlet YouTube channel. My name is Barrett and today it's something that we've seen come up again and again in comments on Facebook and YouTube, Reddit, you name it, is if this DF83 has a true pre-breaker in it. Now, I haven't really played with this. I've been actually curious myself and I needed to take the time to do this properly. So really, what does a pre-breaker do? Now, there are very popular grinders out there Probably the one that is most familiar with most people is like the EK-43. It's a just very popular, awesome grinder. I have one at my shop. And it, it uses a auger to somewhat pre-break the beans. Now, why is this a cool thing? Now, it takes a lot of the burden off of the burrs when you've already pre-broken a bean. Now, it's not gonna be pulverized, but it might crack it in half, it might crack it even further. But is this really a necessary thing? I'm My personal opinion is no, it's not. But it does take some of the burden off of the burrs. So why is an auger really cool? It The auger really is there to facilitate feeding beans to the burrs at a consistent rate. And it's going to push those burrs out into the actual burr pre-breakers, not the auger pre-breaker and begin to chop up those beans and eventually grind them into a very consistent coffee ground. So today, I want to just go through, does this have a true pre-breaker or is it an auger? I honestly don't know, I have not tried it myself. Now, one of the things that has concerned me making this video is it does have a kind of fragile declumper. Most of the decumplers, they're fairly thin stainless steel. So we're going to remove that. We're going to use a set of calipers. We're going to measure the auger as well as the inner barrel of the pre-breaker or the, the auger chamber. And we're just going to be as open as we can with this. So let's just get going on this. Uh, really to get started, there's not a whole lot. Um, I'm just going to put some of the stuff aside. And we're going to remove the front. I always say be careful because sometimes this piece will get stuck in here and it's not really stuck it's just grease so if you're pulling this out that does have a chance of like falling off and becoming damaged if you were to drop it on the floor I just like to make people aware of that and then we're gonna pull this out so right now I have the breebers and I've really been enjoying these this is the chamber for the auger and you can see the auger right here so we have this auger and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get some calipers and let's try to get a good measurement real quick. We'll just do, it's fine in inches. So it's zeroed and the outside of the auger, we're upside down, but Ooh, it's locker right there. It's a little bit less. So the outside of the auger is 1.9 inches. Pretty much exactly. A little bit less. 1.8 something something. So 1.9. Let's try to keep that in mind. Now we have our inner diameter on our auger chamber right here. And I can already tell you it's a little bit bigger. Loosen this up. We're about the same, so it's about 1.9. But the one thing that we need to take into consideration is I'm looking at the outer side of these burrs. So essentially, the outside of this screw, this helical portion, fits fairly tightly into this chamber. So it's it's very close. So Let's take a look at what is essentially the inside diameter of the screw. We're at about 1.494, so about 1.5 versus 1.9. Now, if we grab a coffee bean, we're just going to use some of these as a reference. In this case, the bean, it's hard to probably see in the camera, the bean is actually just a hair thicker than the screw itself. And that's just one bean. 
So it's going to feed all these beans through. And also the bean, depending on which way it's oriented, I mean, if it's oriented this way, it's probably going to crack it less. If it's oriented on the flat side, it's obviously going to be on that outer circumference of the outside of the breaker chamber. But it is going to crack that bean. Now these are, I would say, some average size beans. A lot of the beans that you're going to use are potentially larger, potentially smaller. I would say these are very average. So the whole point behind just showing that is it may not just pulverize the beans, which I don't really want personally, but it should just lightly crack them. So how do we do a good test on just seeing how it cracks? Well, what we're going to do today is we're going to remove the burrs. I'm going to be left with a huge mess by the end of this, but we're going to remove the burrs and I'm also going to remove the declumper at the bottom. And we're going to speed through that because it's probably going to be somewhat of a long process. Uh, we're gonna speed through that and just take all that out. We're gonna feed some beans in without burrs and without the declumper and see what comes out. So hold tight, let's get going on it. Okay, so it took a few minutes to get that declumper out. We have it right here. Not a very good picture here. I'll post a picture up on the screen since I'm doing this at home, not the best lighting. So we took the declumper out because I didn't want, if there were any whole beans, I didn't want it wrecking that declumper, but also just if there were like a, a whole bean getting stuck in the top, I didn't want it to just have like the chunks come out the bottom. So We've removed the burrs, and really all that we're looking at today is the crushing portion of the screw. So we're going to put it back together. We have our keyway. Let's put it back in like so. And then let's grab the front of our grinder. It really shouldn't matter which setting this is on. We'll put it somewhere in the middle, because all we're looking at today is the crushing portion of the pre-breaker. We have our dosing cup. Let's grab some beans. We're just gonna throw, I don't know, let's throw some beans in. It's probably give or take 18 to 20 grams right there. And I need to plug this in. I did unplug it. Okay, so let's feed the beans in. Let's put our chute back on as this could get kind of messy and I really don't know what it's going to do. So here we go. You can hear them getting broke in there. Okay, so here's a look at the beans that we just ground. As you can tell, some of them are broken, and then some of them are still whole. I'd probably say it's really rough unless I was to really set them aside. It's probably about 30% are broken. Some of them, I mean, they're just lightly broken, like maybe, I mean, it looks like a whole bean, but just a big piece is chunked off of the side. So I wouldn't say that it is like a full-on pre-breaker, but it still does a pretty good job at pre-breaking the beans. And again, it's really going to de um, depend on the size of the bean that you're using. So going back to what I was saying earlier in this video, having a quote unquote true pre-breaker might be nice, but there's really nothing shown to really have that big of an impact on the beans themselves being pre-broken. I mean, we don't really grind cracked up beans. We grind whole beans when we run it through a normal grinder. So while it is kind of nice and it does take some of the load off of the burrs, I really feel that the auger is there just for more of a reliable and consistent feed into the burrs. And also any of those particles is being large chunks that may get pushed out of the burrs, the pre-breakers of the burrs, um, that auger is going to keep it in continue to push those beans in and give it that nice reliable feed. So I was curious, we're gonna do some overlays on this cause I did it after the video, but I did wanna see kind of the percentage. I was just guessing just off of the eye. So what I did was I separated out whole beans versus cracked beans. 
And I wanted to give you that exact percentage, at least in this testing. Now I did it at a low RPM and a high RPM, got it fairly consistent results. Um, it's about 57% of the beans are left whole, at least in this case. Uh, about 43%-ish were pre-cracked. So not quite half, um, 60, 60, 40 split, give or take. Just wanted to give you more of the stats on what I did on that video today. The beans that I measured out were actually the beans that I weighed out for this portion of the video. But I did want to let you know that I did weigh them out just to give you a good idea. And then I also just kind of have a side by side of the beans that are pre-broke as well as the beans that were left whole. Just so that you can have the full transparency on this. I guess let's do one more thing. Let's take a look at the inside. before we finish this video, just because I know it'll probably come up and I will have forgotten to do it. So there is the inside of the grinder. Make sure you guys can see it real good. And it's, I mean, there's no big chunks in there. There's nothing left inside. So it does a pretty good job of funneling all those beans through the back to where those burrs are gonna be. But is it a true pre-breaker? I don't know, that's up for you. I really don't think it's, that big of a thing, but I mean, that's really up for you. So just wanted to be transparent with the design of this grinder, how it works, and finally answer this question because it just keeps coming up. So I hope y'all appreciate this. If you have any more questions, I'm not sure if I'm gonna post this video first or not. I have a burr swap that I did the other day that I need to get posted. So make sure to hit subscribe and like on the video as that helps us. If you're thinking about getting this grinder, Comment below if you got any more questions about this grinder or others, feel free to reach out. But that is all for today, so I appreciate you watching.